still early in this SEC schedule, but tonight, the start of a big three-game weekend series as number 14 Alabama comes to Lexington to take on the Wildcats of Kentucky. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Baker alongside Joanna Lane, who's in charge of the educational effort. Schoonover's got to be really careful. Like you said, you can't plate it. You don't want to put the first two on, and she does. And that wasn't close. That wasn't, you know, there hadn't been a call. Once again, the 3-2 pitch. Little check swing, short center field. And Blanton comes on and gets that for a big out number one. And here's Schoonover again. And that ball just missed. You know, you go back to that pitch that the crowd obviously wanted to see as a strike call. And if, if you're a little closer, the first few batters. Got her on the inside part of the plate, and she knew it. Absolutely. That's a great pitch, especially after the sequence, right? Credit Rachel Lawson. Yep. Got her. Alabama loads the bases, but they can't get a single runner across. The Wildcats come. They made their way through it and more. Koffel lifts it to right. Will it drop? It does. Kind of jammed her up, but she's so powerful. She was able to fight it off her wrists. And the Wild. Check the swing. They check it first, and they said she went. Emerus Addison rings up Hutchins and said she went around. This time Koffel takes off trying to make something happen. Ball goes into center field. White was there to back up the play. And this is what they wanted. This is why the leadoff change. And Smith strikes out on three pitches. And so after starting out a little shaky, Beaver has now rung up two strikeouts in a row. She walked her on four pitches. Here's the Alabama defense. Plots at first. Two outs. Oh my gosh! Wow, that hit right off the pitcher, and that's why she's wearing that mask. My goodness. Right in the Adam's apple. You know, just can't get her glove up in time, and this ball rocketed back from Lorson, just able to stay right on that. Come right yes. back up the middle. And... So it got her in the chest and then kind of rolled up, and good thing she had that mask on. But... Face position, which is so hard to play. Lifts that one in the air to right field. It's caught out there, and the Wildcats, they do just what Bama did. No runs, two hits. And she got Evelyn on strikes. And that's the start that Schoonover is looking for. Coming back strong, long inning in the... I got her on the knee. I think it got her on the front knee three and hit a batter. And Kristen White squares to bunt, and it falls right between Mitchell and Schoonover. They both made the right play. They dove for it. It's an in. That's a little flare. Borzaleri has it. And they're two gone. Runners at second and third now with two outs. And that ball gets away from Mitchell. Weird looking play. I'm still not sure whether that we're gonna call it a wild pitch, they say, up here in a box. You can see this yes. ball in the dirt, just short hops a little bit there, right by the plate. No and question. Unable to get over. Came off her hand weird. Besides Halen thought, but again, things of a game. Got her swinging. I 
Line chopper to short. And that ball is thrown across the diamond nicely by Kahalen. Hit hard, and that'll be a base hit up the middle. Kahalen got a glove on it, but couldn't bring it in. It's can step right? up and do it, but that's that's your job. That's your job as a coach, and this is the path they've taken. A little more surprising when you have a runner on first, and now you put someone in scoring position. But look at that—the last two seasons, the SEC from a pitching standpoint. And that one stayed downstairs. You know, has, has settled down, but this is just a, a trying time when you're you're not having people chase your pitches, and right now they're not chasing. And of all the people you would think, Kayla Beaver is not the person you would think would. There's another one, and she's going to score on this one. Those are three out of the zone, not even close. She was on the verge of walking a run in. Connect between the battery. We're going to call that a pass ball. And four straight pitches from Chuck to her. Try to get out of this inning. And that went out of the zone. Second run walked in this inning. So far. And there's a chopper to second. Boy, that was a nice play on a tough ball. And the inning comes to an end. But so Florida is excellent. Both these teams know that. Reasoner in the middle of the infield, and the Kentucky second baseman has it. So the Wildcats got three runs on a hit. But she got it there. Strikeout number five for Schoonover. Deliver the 13th pitch to Giles. Slow roller, scoot over, fielded her position well. And that's the inning. Nothing doing for the Crimson Tide. Cats leap. Uh, mike up Mondays are fun. Jenna Blanton out in front of the plate with a bunt. And boy, was that a nice, nice play by the catcher, Giles. And with one down, here's the Kentucky catcher, Hallie Mitchell. That's a shot. Right at the shortstop, Kahalen. And two pitches, two outs. Holiday. That ball is a slow grounder is short. But Kahalen ends the one, two, three inning. Got her on the inside part of the plate. Strikeout number six for Scoot over and on cue. Larsung is perfectly positioned. And they're quickly two outs. And we've seen so many different sides from this Alabama team in a lot of ways, but when you... And she got hit by pitch again. That one missed the elbow pad. Because Johnson has gotten hit twice herself. And here's White. First pitch swinging, it's a fair. And Larson gets him out of the inning again. Thank you. And Koffel hits that one on a button. And wow, that, that ball, I love the way that Kahalem plays it short, but that ball was smoked, and she didn't even move. I chop her to second. Evelyn flips over, and quickly there, two away. And lifted to left field. Room for Johnson, though. And it's another 1 2 3 inning. We head to the fifth. Cats respond with three in the bottom of the second. And how about that? As Schoonover. And that's popped up to Coffin. Down on the grass. And there are two away. They've definitely come in big spurts, right? You've Three won games at first base. Finally missed outside. Boy, what an at-bat that was. 
Works a 12 pitch walk. Back to scoot over. She gave up the walk but got out of the inning. Nothing going for the Tide in the fifth. SEC freshman hitting. She has been getting it done. And that's a hard hit ball. And that got past the shortstop, Kahalen. Yeah, base hit right on cue from Plotz. And you can see she just uses the ground on. It's already blown by her extra base hit total. And she draws the full count walk. Base hit and a walk. Right back up the middle, and it is off the glove of Brisky, and they won't get anybody. Abs yeah, back up the middle. That's a base hit. Donaldson scores. Here comes Nesby. Two RBI single for the pinch hitter. Taylor Epps. Great approach there from. Nico Harrison homer might have been a walk off in a game we did. But she swings through that one. And that's the first out. Third base, step on the back for one, and that ball is thrown away. They're gonna wave home Blanton. She scores. Borza Larry. Goes all the way to third base. The game plan for most teams all along, get as tight in on her hands as you can. Did she go? I believe she did. And they say she did. So the inning is over. But not before the Cats score three more on a couple of hits, two errors. They leave one on base. We head to the sixth, and Kentucky leads. So we got some defensive changes for Kentucky. As that ball is lifted to right center, hit pretty well. Back to the wall, and that's gone for Marley Giles. Life in the Crimson Tide as Giles leads off the sixth inning with a solo homer. It's just the second hit of the night for Bama. And it cuts the Kentucky lead to 6-2. Take a look at this swing from Giles. You can see this ball just gets up a little bit in no man's land, not high enough to chase, but perfect to hit. And Giles puts a charge into it. Trying to spur on her team a little bit here. Her fifth of the year. First mistake that Schoonover has made, seven. That ball is ripped to left. That is way gone. That is over the scoreboard. That's one of the longest hit balls I've ever seen here at John Crop Stadium. Well, that's one thing that we talked about a little bit earlier is that your balls will fly out of here. It's a small park, and Coach Murphy talked about that being something of concern for his pitching staff, but it's a concern right now for Kentucky's pitching staff. You can see this is just a great swing on this pitch, and absolute no doubter that will bring out Coach Lawson. Got her. Eighth strikeout of the night. For Schoonover as she bounces back. The payoff pitch. And they say she didn't go. And Johnson reaches with a 3 2 walk. Enter into that home plate umpire's vision path, calling balls and strikes. That's when they get you. One and two count. Lorsing goes across the diamond. Johnson goes to second. Ball is lifted to the right side. Reasoner goes out, and the inning is over. But not before the. 
Grounded to short. Slow roller, but boy, what a strong throw. And what a nice play over there by Kahalen for out number one. Kahalen continues to be a dominant force, throw quality pitches. Ball is hit into center field and right at the center fielder White for out number two. So Alabama got one in the second. Kentucky responded with three in the home half. Of the Boy, how about that pitch? And how about that for a quick inning? The Wildcats look to close it out. They lead by three. That ball is grounded to second and an eight. Reasoner up. As you said, she's a true shortstop. Be able to make most plays. That ball right back to the pitcher and it gets between Schoonover's legs. They get the out at first. The Coach Lawson, if you have one area that you know would really change the way your team's playing right now, what area would it be? And it's defense. Wow. I mean, see another miscue, just wanting to you know, shore that up. So a wild pitch on the call there from. Advanced on the fielder's choice. And that's a tapper, scoot over. Doesn't have time to look the runner back, but she gets the second out, fields her position. Second time she's done that. That one stayed up in the zone. Well, at this point, they're they're ready. They're warm. They're just waiting for their number to be called. And needed strike moments ago. She's got to come back with yeah. that fastball on the inside, right? Got her swinging on the 12th pitch of the at bat, the 181st pitch of the night, and as gutsy a performance as you're ever going to see. As Stephanie Schoonover. My goodness, wills the Cats to a 6-3 to three win.